I ran into a spot of bother lately. Um, I was at the uh, Charing Cross, the Gender Identity Clinic, and I was talking to my psychologist and he said, all right now, it's been a couple of years, you've been on hormones a couple of years now. What you should probably do is either get a hysterectomy, fine, but not right now. I'm not in any big hurry to have major surgery, um, except for the top, because I just think that I need that in order to move on with my life. I'm undecided about bottom at the moment. Or, he said, you can get an ultrasound to check that you've not, you know, got anything going on down there. Because if you take uh, testosterone, um, hormone therapy, then you are at an increased risk of getting some kind of cancer. I don't know if it's ovarian or, or something like that. But you're supposed to, to get checked out every couple of years. So I said, okay, you know, put me in for that scan and whatever. So I spoke to my doctor and, and made the appointment. And I get this letter through. And it's a mail merge letter that starts ominously with Dear Miss Adrian Williams, you are hereby invited to your scan of glory, which you will no doubt enjoy greatly. Um, and they mentioned something which I can't remember the name for, but it involves putting a probe up you. And I had a freak out. I was like, nobody said anything about this, no one said anything about probes or people not knowing that I'm a trans guy, because sorry, do you really want to show up to a place where only women ever go and have all the nurses and doctors look at you like, what the fuck is he doing here? Like, he doesn't have a vagina, she can't be here. And I think that would just be fucking mortifying, frankly. So I was just like, what the hell do I do? My first thought was, just ring the people, ring the people, explain the situation, just say, look, you've obviously just sent me a stand letter, I don't know if my GP explained the situation to you, but there's just no way that's happening. And my first thought was, well, they're going to think I'm just a time waster. So I thought, well, what if I say that it's physically impossible, you know, they can't go in that way, that's not true. Um, and then just move from there and say, look, will, this, will just the scan do? Because that's, that's what I was told about. And I'm happy to have that, like, that's not a problem. They just put a bit of um, whatever on your stomach and slide the uh, scan over so they can have a look, as far as I know anyway, like any kind of ultrasound. Um, but I didn't ring them, and I didn't ring them because I just felt nervous about the prospect of talking to perfect strangers about what's actually a very intimate detail of my life. You wouldn't think it because I post videos on the internet, but it's just a different experience to actually standing there and having the balls to say, look, what you're dealing with is something that maybe you haven't seen before. I come from a small town, you know, I get looks from people and I know they know that I I am the guy who buys testosterone supplements, and I am the guy who recently went to the solicitor to get his name changed to a male name and to get his gender changed to, you know, it's just, oh, it's, I, don't, I don't really care about people's opinions, but I do care about being forced to perceive other people's opinions, as that makes sense. I just want to be able to get on with my life, and mostly I can, but I'll just come across these people and these looks and these comments, and I think, oh goodness, here we go again. And I can forgive it from just members of the public. But when it's medical professionals, I just think, my God, you should really know better. You should just know better than to put me through this. Because you're the only people in the world, apart from people who aren't in any professional capacity, who are actually on my side and can have some understanding and knowledge of what I'm going through here. But, you know, my doctor... I don't know if she perceived that there was going to be a problem with this, but she didn't set me up in any trans-friendly place or any place that actually understood what the situation was. Because if she'd done that, then I might have gone. And I wish I had called her or them or something and said, it's a bit late now, but if I had just said that there's been a mistake, you know, I am a, a guy, I'm a trans guy, and I need to be treated as such, um, and I need them to know who's coming in and who's going to be, um, who they're going to be working on because I can't handle it otherwise. And I just didn't because I felt just embarrassed, just the way that people are. I haven't had to face the reality of being trans for quite some time. I've been passing for ages now 
and it just it knocks you for six I think to just be so forcibly reminded that you can't get away from it you just can't get away from the uh, mistake of having been born female.